Multicultural education has been defined as a system of beliefs and behaviors that recognizes and respects the presence of all diverse groups in an organization or society, acknowledges and values their sociocultural differences, and encourages and enables their continued contribution. Caleb Rosado made this point by saying that we should value what others have to offer and not just belittle it because it is different from the majority. Salter continues on with this by pointing out that the primary distinctions made by multiculturalism are race, class, and gender. Instead of focusing on the major distinctions between us, we should find what unites us. As students in a classroom, we all come from different backgrounds, but we all have one thing in common. We are Americans, and this is what unites us. At the same time, though, Salter said that we need to teach them that there exist other cultures besides the American culture, and that these deserve to be respected or acknowledged. Students should know that the American way of life is not the only way of living. Other cultures are out there, and we as Americans can learn and even benefit from how they operate. Maintaining the balance between belittling and making something the main focus is challenging, but that's why diversity is something you should tolerate, but not something you should promote. There is, however, another side to this. Seeing as multicultural education is one of the most controversial issues in the education world, we as teachers need to be equipped to be able to handle all of the different classes, races, and cultures in our classroom. Cherry and James Banks have come up with a five-step approach. They've determined that multicultural education is made up of content integration, knowledge construction, equity pedagogy, prejudice reduction, and empowering school culture and social structure. Content integration is the dimension that most educators consider to be the entirety of multicultural education. Banks states in his article on equity pedagogy that one of the most prevalent misconceptions is the integration of content about diverse cultural, ethnic, and racial groups to the mainstream curriculum is both its essence and its totality. In order to correct this misconception, Banks proposed his five-dimensional understanding of multicultural education. He describes the second dimension, knowledge construction, as when teachers help students understand, investigate, and determine the implicit cultural assumptions and frame of reference and perspective of the discipline they are teaching. Essentially, this includes training students to be aware of cultural biases they may encounter. The third dimension that Banks proposes for multicultural education is equity pedagogy. In Banks's article titled Equity Pedagogy, an essential component of multicultural education, Banks defines equity pedagogy as teaching strategies and classroom environments that help students from diverse racial, ethnic, and cultural groups attain the knowledge, skills, and attitude needed to function within and to help create a democratic society. This means that teachers should facilitate learning that actively involves all students in learning to help them become effective citizens. The fourth dimension of multicultural education, according to Banks, is prejudice reduction. This means that teachers should work to reduce prejudice in the classroom and should use methods to help kids develop more positive racial attitudes. The fifth and final dimension of Banks' model of multicultural education is empowering school culture and social structure. Banks defines this dimension as looking at the total school structure to see how to make it more equitable. This dimension involves examining the staff and how they interact, extracurricular programs, and labeling and grouping practices in order to ensure that all these practices promote equality. In light of all this research, each teacher must come to his or her own conclusion. It is my personal belief that I should show respect and tolerance to all cultures and ethnicities. I should also seek to understand differing cultural values so that I can better help my students. Too much emphasis can be placed on diversity. Respecting the dignity of those of different cultures is critical, but promoting diversity above unity is not. All students must be respected for their diversity, but ultimately, it is our unity that joins us together.